Well, evening everyone. This is my uh, second session of the day, actually. I spent the morning up on the, uh, the river. Caught myself a, a nice little carp. Uh, then I went home. And uh, I'm back out now to catch the evening tide down on Shoreham Beach. So time now is about quarter to eight. Um, high tide's due at 11 o'clock. It's quite a big one, uh, six, 6.3 metres tonight. Uh, the beaches are quite deserted, which suits me fine. Um, it's been a, quite a hot day actually, after a few days of rain uh, and cloudy conditions. Uh, it's brightened up today. Uh, and the wind's been north all week until the last couple of hours, and it's just done a 180. <laughs> Quite surprised when I arrived at the beach to find the wind in my face. It's completely turned around now and it's a, a, a southwesterly. But it, you know, it's not too bad. So, fishing co conditions should be okay for tonight. Uh, I've got lugworm with me. I've got um, half a dozen peeler crabs um, and some squid. And the target tonight on the lugworm, I'm hoping to get a bream or two. I hear there's a few around. And on the squid and crab, I'm hoping to get a ray or a smooth down. So I've got about five hours fishing, so fingers crossed. Well, it's half past nine now, so I've been fishing for an hour and a half. Uh, light's starting to fade. It's a bit gusty, that southwest wind is getting up a bit. Uh, and it's been slow really. I've had one fish so far. Uh, a sizeable place, you know, a keeper. So that'll be for dinner tomorrow. Uh, we're an hour and a half away from high tide. You know, I'm gonna fish the tide up. I'm gonna fish it a couple of hours back down. So I'll probably fish it till about one one in the morning and I'm hoping fingers crossed that one of those rods is going to tear off with either a smooth hound or a ray on the end I've got um, squid on the right hand rod that's remained untouched I've just pulled that in after an hour and a quarter untouched I've just put a fresh fresh squid on and on the other one I've got uh, two hook rig a black lug worm on the top hook and I've just changed over to um, peeler crab on the bottom hook. So, plenty of time left for something to happen. Well, this is incredible. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that in the distance there, but I just saw an almighty great big swirl. Thought, what the hell was that? And there's a porpoise or a dolphin about 70 yards out from the beach. Came up three times then. Oh, there it is, right out there now. It's about 150 yards. Oh, crikey, they, it's going for something. The way that was charging around, it was... Whoa, oh my God. Oh, I hope this comes up. I think there's more than one out there actually. It's coming up and it's diving down and its tail's coming right out. Oh, I hope you can see that. With it being the GoPro. Uh, yeah, there's, there's fish out there. It's must be mackerel or something. They're charging into a shoal of mackerel and it just flipped a mackerel right up in the air. Wow, I've never seen that before. That's incredible. Yeah, it's, it's, moving offshore now is a couple of hundred yards away wow that was a treat for the night there he's right out there now super first smooth down of the night little pup but it took a, a whole peeler crab so it's greedy little bugger Right, let's hope for something a bit bigger. 
I hope you can see this. This is my new PB uh, smooth out, starry smooth out. Um, just on shore and beach tonight, uh, catching loads of dogfish. Uh, then I hooked something decent and it came off. I had a couple of big thumping bites and uh, finally landed this one. Uh, seven pounds this is. Uh, new PB, my biggest ever smooth end. So definitely worth coming out tonight. With this cracking fish. There you go. I hope you can see him. Well, here's another PB. Eight pounds, this one. Last cast and all. I packed up one rod. Uh, walked over to uh, uh, put the rod in its case and looked at the other rod and the <laughs> and line was spinning off the reel. And the rod tip was pulled right over and the, and the whole spool was spinning. And this little kipper was on the end. Uh, eight pounds, this one. Thank you.